somebody recently asked me what philosophies or systems or methodologies I run my life by. I thought that was a very interesting question. I never, I never thought about it in that way. Um, but because of the question, I started thinking about it and I realized there's four things that I, that I use, uh, that I build my workflow or my, my, my life basically on top of. The first one is Getting Things Done. Uh, it's a book and methodology by David Allen. Uh, it's a productivity work methodology, but I think it actually can apply to anything. And what it really comes down to is that you, you can't multitask and you can only do one thing at a time. So whatever you're doing, you want to have your 100% full attention and your full brain clear for that one thing that you're doing in that moment. Um, and of course, there's a lot more to it. The whole book explains how to do that. Um, but I've, I've been doing that since 2006 or 2007, so it's become really second nature. But that's really important to how I approach everything. The second one is Essentialism, which is also a book. Um, and I think that the core idea of that is that we need to say no much more often and we need to be much more um, diligent about what or disciplined about the, the commitments we take on in our life. Like we're all overstretched and it's, you know, it's, it's so much easier to, to ask for our attention through email, phone, whatever. Um, and we, you know, most of us are not good at saying no. So we end up stretching ourselves very thin. And instead, we should really focus on the things that truly matter that we can really make a difference in. And so I'm, I try to apply that all the time in my life, but it's always hard. And then we go to the more philosophical, religious ones. The third one is Buddhism. Um, I would never consider or call myself a Buddhist. I think that would be an insult to, to real Buddhists. Uh, but as I read The Art of Living, uh, which, is, which is mainly about meditation, but it's also about uh, Buddhism, I realized that I am 80% a Buddhist, I guess, because I don't drink anymore. Uh, I do a lot of meditation, uh, the way I approach thinking and happiness and things like that. And I can really relate to a lot of things in Buddhism. Um, so that's, that's become a really important part of my life, I think, in the last uh, one or two years. Um, and then the fourth one is Stoicism, um, which is an old uh, Greek and, and Roman uh, philosophy, uh, basically of how to live your life, how to think, how to approach difficulties. And um, that is also really critical. I think especially when you, you know, as an entrepreneur or, and when you have a lot of pressure in your job, I would highly recommend uh, Stoicism. And a good point to start is the obstacle is the way, because that really comes down to not, you know, not worrying about things that are outside of your control, only only focusing on the things that you can control. That's kind of the core of it. I'm sure we'll talk more about all these things in future vlog posts, but that's kind of an overview of uh, things that are important to me. And uh, you can see the links for all the books uh, in the in the comments or in the description below.